This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Masterverse He-Man from the Netflix He-Man and the Masters of the Universe series. As you can see, I got this from Ross. It was just $4. I don't think it was ever $14 at retail. These usually go for like $20 to $25 at, say, Target when they first come out. But they're never this low before they hit Ross. So I'm glad I waited till now to get it. That's from the... Not the Revelation series, but the other uh, He-Man series on Netflix. I've done, I've done a few uh, Motu-related videos, uh, Ram Man uh, and the crossover figures, uh, Leonardo and Donatello for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and He-Man. I've done many. Masters of the Universe Classics Reviews. And I don't... Have nearly all the figures. So it's... Figures it's about time I do a review of a He-Man figure. I haven't seen the series yet, but I really like the way... This figure looks. Really love the new design. Um... I really like this new harness on the figure. The new to, and this big giant sword. Uh, he's got pretty Hulk in proportions, just like Johnny Bravo from that cartoon network show. Uh, so, it's got. I don't think I've. I don't ever remember getting. A Masters of the Universe figure this chunky, aside from Ram Man. It's got really bulky arms. However, his legs are much smaller, but I do like these uh, shin guards here. They look really nice. I feel they're pretty sharp. Uh, of course, they're molded onto the figure, but it looks like he, there's is strapped to the front of him, so. Really dig the hairstyle, too. I like how he's got uh, long hair, but it doesn't look too puffy like the original 80s cartoon. He man. I like the way the gauntlets, too. They rotate. Uh, they actually do rotate, which I... I really do appreciate it. So you can get, in the, get the gauntlets. You could have the design in the back here. Or on the side. Yeah, so I really like the look of his figure. Like his accessory. Uh, only thing I don't like is how small legs are. I uh, actually was interested in getting the... Uh, Motu Origins figure. Uh, but it came with in a four pack with the New Adventures He Man, the 2000X He Man, and the original 80s cartoon He Man. Uh, it was a bit expensive. I think it was like a $100 set, so I didn't get it. But I really wanted that one. And if, and at least this is show. These, and at least these proportions are show accurate. I think, I suspect Mattel uh, made this figure to help to try and get adult collectors to collect the He-Man figures from the new cartoon. Uh, so, they kind of... Well, I have one of them here. This is also from Ross. Uh, I'm not sure if these... If the... Act, if the... Figures from the dedicated line for this Netflix CGI show are actually in scale with this figure. Obviously, the sword is much smaller, but I think it gets bigger when he turns into He-Man. So, it's, from, it's possibly the right scale, but I'm not sure since it's the only figure I have right now. 
Um, and I'm not sure. I, I guess He Man is only a head taller. Because I don't. Because this is the only other He Man figure from the. Actually, right now, this is the only He Man figure I have from the main line of this Netflix CGI show. And also, yeah, so I already said I thought, I think the figure looks great. So let's go over the articulation. You got a ab crunch here. Oh. Head. Head to the ball joint, of course. Uh, bicep rotation, as you can obviously see. Uh, double joint elbows. Uh, you can do like 135 degrees here. Um you get shoulder articulation in the arm, which is really good. Um, legs can go up. Um, you can go out to the sides too. I'm gonna try it. Uh, they sort of click in and go out to the side, which is nice. I think there's some uh, resistance from this um, part of his shirt that's hanging. Below his belt, you're actually actually struggling to get it back down. Um, a double bend at the knee. Uh, so yeah, looks like you can bend all the way. You can see the strap touching the thigh. Uh, you got ankle pivot tilt here. So all in all, very nice. Looking figure, great articulation with this guy, as usual with these modern Masterverse figures. Oh, let's continue with this view. I show you okay. So the sword pegs into this hole here, and you can get them to hold the. And in either uh, arm, you got uh, two sets of uh, sword holding hands. Yeah. And as usual, this just snaps in. Uh, you pry the fingers open, then you push the handle through, and the curls ha fingers will just curl around the ha sword, which is what, which is what, uh, which is what He-Man figures have been doing since um, Masters of the Universe Classics in two thousand eight. At least that's as far as I can remember them doing that. Maybe that's. Yeah, um, he man swords, uh, pry open and curl around the sword since the vintage 80s figures. Anyways, it looks really awesome with the sword. Uh, it's really nice and big, just like his upper body. So, oh, no, I like this figure a lot. I like the chunky look of this figure. I uh, like the design of his outfit. I uh, like the big sword. Really love uh, the new head design. Uh, really glad they included fists and interchangeable hands, which we didn't get in the Masters of the Universe classics days. The articulation is really great too, just like the other modern Masterverse. Masters of the Universe figures we've gotten. And if you're like me and you're not going to have a lot of Masters of the Universe figures, a He Man figure like this should be a must have. The only thing I don't like this figure is how much smaller legs are compared to the large upper body. But overall, but all things considered, I still think this is a great figure.
please like this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye.